Welcome to the spoken tutorial on inserting images, hyperlinks and bookmarks. In this tutorial, we will learn how to insert an image file, a hyperlink, a bookmark into a writer document. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. We will start by learning how to insert an image file in LibreOffice Writer. Open the file resume.odt which we have created earlier. This file and an image file have been provided to you in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the files. Make a copy and then use them for practicing. I would like to insert an image here on the right hand side. As mentioned earlier, this image has been provided in the code files link. Go to the line which is mother's occupation, housewife and press enter twice. Now click on the insert image icon in the standard toolbar. Insert image dialog box appears. Go to the location where your file is saved. I have extracted and saved the file on my desktop. I will select the image file by clicking on it. And then click on the open button at the top right. The image gets inserted in our document. We can resize this image to fit into top right corner of the resume document. Select the image on the image, we can see 8 handles. Using the mouse, click on any of the side handles. Then drag to increase or decrease the size of the image. Undo these changes by pressing Ctrl plus Z keys twice. We can even scale both dimensions using the corner handles. When we do that, the proportions are maintained. Resize the image by clicking and dragging the mouse like this. After resizing, click on the image and drag it to the top right corner of the document. We can also insert images by clicking on the insert menu in the menu bar. And then click on the image option. Next, we will learn how hyperlink is created in writer. Hyperlink within documents are words or phrases that can be clicked. On clicking them, we jump to a new document or a new section within the current document. Before creating a hyperlink in this file, we will first create a new document to be hyperlinked. Click on the new icon in the standard toolbar. A new writer document open named as Untitled 1. Now we will create a list of hobbies in this new document. Let us type the heading as Hobbies and press enter. Now let us type few of the hobbies as listening to music, playing table tennis and painting one below the other. Then save this file by pressing Ctrl plus S keys together. In the file browser, I will select desktop as the location to save my file. In the name field dialog box, we will type the file name as hobby. Then click on the save button at the top right. Close this file hobby.odt by clicking on the X icon at the top right corner. Now we will create a hyperlink in resume.odt which would redirect to this document. Place the cursor at the end of the last line in the document and press enter twice. Type the word hobbies. Now. Select the text by dragging the cursor along the word hobbies. Then click on insert menu in the menu bar and click on the hyperlink option. Hyperlink dialog box opens up. On the left, we see the options internet, mail, document and new document. For creating a hyperlink to another text document, click on document option. Here there are two sections document and target in document. We will learn about the target in document feature as the tutorial progresses. Click on the folder icon on the right of the path field. 
select desktop location. Scroll down and locate the new document hobby.odt which we had created. Now double click on the hobby.odt file. We see that the path to the file gets inserted in the path field. At the bottom, click on the apply button first and then on the close button. We see that the text hobbies is underlined and is blue in color. Which means the text is now hyperlink. Now place the cursor on the word hobbies. Then press the control key and left mouse button together. We see that the file hobby.odt opens up. Click on the X icon at the top right corner to close this file. Next, let us learn how to insert bookmarks. A bookmark is a text that marks a particular position inside a paragraph or a text portion. Bookmarks are useful when we are reading large documents. It helps us to mark and later revisit certain pages or paragraphs in a document. I will select the text Ramesh. Then click on the insert bookmark icon in the standard toolbar. The bookmark dialog box opens. The text field says bookmark 1. We can give our own customized name if you wish to. I will leave this as it is. Click on the insert button to the right of this field. The bookmark dialog box automatically closes. I will now select another text within the document, say self-employed. Once again, click on the insert bookmark icon in the standard toolbar. This time, the dialog box shows our previously created bookmark in the list below. The text field now says bookmark 2. Again, I will leave it as default. Then click on the insert button to the right of this field. Click on the insert bookmark icon in the standard toolbar. This time the dialog box shows two bookmarks. Click on any one and then click on the go to button at the bottom of the dialog box. Click on the close button. The focus shifts to the specified portion of text in the document. Click on the insert bookmark icon in the standard toolbar. Now. Click on the other bookmark and then click on the go to button at the bottom of the dialog box. Click on the close button. The focus shifts to the other specified portion of text in the document. Explore what the other buttons in the dialog box will do on your own. This is how we can insert and use bookmarks in a writer document. Press Ctrl plus S to save resume.odt file and then click on the X icon at the top right corner of the window to close it. We have another feature in hyperlinks which is target in document. This will help the reader to find a specific section in the target document. Open hobby.odt file. Inside the document, select the word tennis. Click on insert menu in the menu bar and select bookmark. Under the bookmark dialog box, in the place of bookmark 1, type tennis. Now click on the insert button on the right. Let us save this file and then close it. Now open the resume.odt file once again. Select the word hobbies. Click on insert menu in the menu bar and select hyperlink. The hyperlink dialog box opens up. Click on document in the left. In the path field, we see the full path of hobby.odt file. Under target in document section, click on the circle icon to the right. The target in document list box opens. Expand bookmarks by clicking on the arrow and select the tennis bookmark. Click on the apply button and then on close button. In the hyperlink dialog box, in the target field, we see the text tennis. We also see that the path of the hobby.odt file gets inserted in the URL field. At the bottom, click on the apply button first and then on the close button. 
keep the cursor on the word hobbies and press control key and left mouse button together notice that this time the cursor is next to the word tennis in the hobby.odt file this is a useful feature when the target file is large and runs into multiple pages close the file hobby.odt by clicking on the x icon come back to the resume.odt let us save the file by pressing Ctrl plus S keys. Then close the file by clicking on the X icon. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned how to insert an image file, a hyperlink, a bookmark in a writer document. As an assignment, open practice.odt, insert an image of your choice into the file, Create a hyperlink to open www.google.com website when you click on the image in the file. Insert at least two bookmarks. The video at the following link summarizes spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please contact us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. The Spoken Tutorial project is funded by MHRD Government of India. This tutorial was originally contributed by Desi Crew Solution Private Limited in 2011. And this is Pratik Kamle along with the Spoken Tutorial team from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.